Hi everyone, we will be having another Electro Charge Showdown. I will be showcasing 4 teams only. Because of all the teams that I have tested, only the teams that has Sucrose brings the best results in the current Abyss. Also, using Bennett in an Electro Charge team takes away double Electro capability. It will always be Bennett, Sucrose, Singcho, and one Electro character. We can replace Sucrose here with another Electro character, but the crowd control and the Elemental Mastery buff will be gone. I tried all these teams, and the only working team is these 4 teams. The rest of the list has a very slow time completion. We will divide the category by defensive and offensive teams. Let's start with the defensive team or Kokomi teams. I will be using Kokomi to replace Singcho, somewhat sacrificing damage for more durable team. On the right, I will be using Kokomi, Yae, Sucros, and Fischl, the AFK Electro Charge team. On the left is the usual Beidou official. Surprisingly, the lack of Singcho doesn't really hurt both teams in terms of total damage. Maybe it's because Kokomi has permanent hydro application that continues to produce electro charge reactions. Surprisingly, Yae's team won by 1 second. Now let's look into the Yola teams. These teams have no healer. Previously on my two videos, I have stated that Yae team might be my strongest electro charge team. This is because I forgot to change Sing Cho's build. Now I am using offensive build on Sing Cho with the Blackleaf Longsword. And now I am seeing a big improvement. This is the original team, the original Sucrose Taser team. And with the right build, right amount of energy recharge, this team really packs quite a punch. It clears 2 seconds faster than my Yae Electro Charge team. You might be thinking, where is Child? Well, Child is a melee character technically. And Archer class is really made up of archers. I tried Child Electrocharged here but he seriously underperforms compared to the other teams. Now what about single target enemies? We'll take on the Primo G Bishop but first, if you like this type of contents, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'm doing showdowns like this, comparisons, builds, and guides. So if this interests you, I hope to see you in the next video. Let's start with the defensive team first. This is the most shocking of all. Beidou's burst is supposed to be nerfed here because there is nothing to bounce her lightning. Beidou's burst should not be able to keep up with Yae. On the other hand, Yae's totems can focus down on one target and this should give her more firepower than Beidou. But this seems not to be the case. Beidou is outputting more damage, the area of effect team that is supposed to perform worse than the single target team is actually doing the opposite. Now this is no healer team. We are slowly seeing the pattern here. The original Sucrose Taser team is showing its power over the other Electro Charge team. So why is it? This is because Beidou has a shield. And that shield counters the Primordial Shower attack of the Primo JV Shop. And after that Primordial Shower counter, the JV Shop's resistance decreases dramatically. That's why we can see a significant damage boost in Beidou's team after the Primordial Shower attack. With this, I will take 3 seconds away from Beidou's team. I think 3 seconds is equivalent to that primordial shower damage boost. This is the only test subject I know right now. The Mago Kenki in the Abyss is gone now. And the Mago Kenki in the overworld is very hard to control. It teleports everywhere. Regis Vines are out of the question because it has no health to absorb the full damage of one rotation. All we can do is to estimate the results from here. Bonus round, Raiden Electro Charge team. This is a budget team because I don't have Kazuha. Maybe Kazuha will completely change the results here. This is Raiden offensive team, no healer. And facing the wolves without a healer is not really a good idea. But anyhow, Raiden Electro Charge even with Sucrose is a weaker team compared to Sucrose Taser team. Raiden Electro Charge is still a fun team to use, but the problem is stamina. Raiden's charge attack costs stamina. And we need stamina for dodging because we are facing the wolves and we have no healer. This is a summary of the adjusted results of all the experiments on all the teams. So at the end of the day, the OG Taser wins. Thanks to the Blackleaf Sword that I recently bought on Paimon Shop, it completely changes the way I view things about Electro Charge teams. So the final ranking from top to bottom, Beiro Offensive Team, Yae Offensive Team, Beiro's Defensive Team, Yae Defensive Team, and Raiden Offensive Team. These are my top 5 Electro Charge Team out of all the teams that I presented to you earlier. 
I hope you subscribe for more and see you in the next video.